Hey guys, Carl here at Repairs and Risk. Gonna be taking apart the Sony Xperia Z doing the volume and power flex cable. This is a replacement guide. Today's tools you're gonna to be needing a small Phillips screwdriver, a metal plastic prying tool, and a triangle safety prying tool. Let's get started. On any device, you're gonna make sure your device is off or powered off. And also you wanna make sure you remove the SD card and the SIM card if it that there is one in the device. Uh, go ahead and on this phone you can actually open up all three sides because it's the little plastic guys inside kind of make it a little hassle when you're trying to pull out the motherboard. Take your time, some parts of it can be kind of a little tricky to get in and out. Great, once we have that guy open, we're going to actually open, grab our plastic prying tool and go to open from the bottom. Uh, go ahead, take your time on this. It's a little bit of, it's got some adhesive and it's, we'll start to do not break the back door. Take your time, you're going to go around the corners and you can finally get the back door off. Awesome. Now we have uh, four screws that we need to take care of. We're going to grab our Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and take care of it. If you follow on the left side, you're going to see our little diagram. Take your time here. Uh, they're all the same screws, so go ahead and put them in the one little order. Great, now we have the screws out of the way. We're going to be working on the flex cables. We got a couple different. We have the power, the volume, the front facing, the back facing, and the low dock. So go ahead and take the part that one and a couple more. Front facing camera will pop out. Go ahead and put that to the side. Now on the battery, go ahead and make sure you have the battery flex on connection and go ahead and pull the battery out of the device. Great, now just the back camera. And now we can go ahead and start to work on the antenna. And once we get the antenna connection released, take your time on it, don't break it. Now we can work on the motherboard. Now the motherboard's kind of like wedged in there. So we're gonna start on the left hand side and once we get it popped up, we're gonna push in to pull out. And what do you mean by that? We're gonna push to the right and then lift up and pull out. Once we have the motherboard out of the way, now we can work on the back camera. Great, back camera's out. Now we're gonna work on the low or speaker assembly at the bottom. Go ahead and slowly work around from the bottom and you can go up. Do not pull up on this. Just get enough so you can see it coming up. Um, there's a little power connection we actually need to get to. Let me zoom in a little bit closer for you. This little white guy, you basically take it and you can it pops up basically a connection piece. There's no little flex locking it in there. Great, now we have them out of the way. There is one more flex cable at the bottom. We're going to make sure he's unconnected. Now for the fun volume and power assembly. That's going to be on the left-hand side that you're looking at it while it's open. Let me zoom in a little bit closer so you can get a better eye, eagle eye view on this. Now you see the volume connection and the last one's going to be the power connection. They're all connected to one. So we're going to go take our prying tool and go from the bottom just to break some of the adhesive. Now we're going to start at the bottom. It's a clear piece of plastic. It looks like it's not connected to nothing, but it is. It actually has the mic on it too. That's what we're seeing on the right here. So you wedge the pry tool inside just to get some of the adhesive off. Once you start getting the adhesive off, you feel it give way. Do not rip or pull. Please do not rip or pull. Once you have the flex cable up, go ahead and bend them back. Now you notice there's a metal gauge or metal bracking. We're going to take our pry tool and slowly pull up and pop him off. This allows so the buttons actually do the click when you especially push from the left hand side into the device. Once we have them up, um, best way to get into it is going to be, let me flip it back so you can see a little better. You're going to bend them back a little bit and start where it's actually inside the connection. Once you get it started, you can wiggle the little pry tool to get some of the adhesive off. And once you start getting it going, you'll notice that it slowly pulls away. Great, we actually just now took apart the Sony Xperia and we took the volume of flex out. Now go ahead and grab your new volume and power flex and we're going to actually go ahead and pop him into the Sony Xperia. With any new device you get from a pretty universe, it's going to have uh, little plastic tabs, it's going to be adhesive connections. You just go ahead and make sure you're going to pull those off before you put it into the device. 
once you have the little tabs out, we're going to line it up from the left to the right. You're going to notice where the power button and the volume and the mic connections are. Exactly like you took it out the last time, we're actually going to go in reverse. Let's go ahead and line up the particular connections or the holes where the buttons connect and go ahead and snap them into place. You're going to see these little plastic guide holes. These are the eagle holes that hold the device in place and basically it gives you a nice diagram of how it lays into place. Once you have it in place, go ahead and grab that metal bracket and go ahead and if you look from the left there's a little cut or a teeth connection that actually goes on the left hand side. Once you get them in place, you're going to see you can actually bend it back and slide the metal bracket where it needs to go. Great, we're almost there. Once you have everything in place, go ahead and push down the bottom with the mic connection and actually line up the flex. Now what you have to do is put them back together. Go ahead and make sure the volume flex, or excuse me, the flex cable at the bottom is actually pressed in. This is going to allow for the buttons. Make sure they're actually connected. Once you have them in place, we're going to actually go ahead with the speaker assembly set and again with the white connection piece. If you have problems on this guy, you can actually take the plastic prying tool and actually get him into place where it's lined up perfectly. Once he's fastly secured into its device, you can actually push down and then lock the speaker into place. Great. Now take your motherboard and remember it's going to be the SD card on the right hand side. Same with the charging port. You're going to slide in from the right hand side into the device. Make sure the little plastic tabs are out of the way because they can bend and break. Pull back the audio jack flex so you can actually push the motherboard into place. You'll feel it fairly secure or connect knowing that it's in place. Once he's in place, you can feel that there's no wobble. Push down the flex cables on the audio jack. Now, back facing camera goes from the left to right. Go ahead and smash him in there. Congratulations. Now we're going to work on the top, the front facing camera. He goes from right to left. Great, now we're going to connect the power volume mic flex into the motherboard. Now we're going to connect the LCD digitizer into the motherboard. It can be a little tricky to get this guy in there. Just take your time. Don't force it or um, push it into it. It's not a puzzle. It's a puzzle piece. It will go in once it's in there. Take your time and you get it to fairly secure into its device. Once you have that in there, go ahead and grab the antenna and connect that to the motherboard. Take your time because you can break and bend the connection piece. Awesome. Once we have that in there, we're going to grab our battery and slide it into place. Go ahead and push down the flex so we can get the juice to our mother, our phone. Well, that's it, guys. Congratulations, you actually put back the Sony Xperia Z and you did the volume and power flex. Now, if you look on the left, there's going to be the four screws that we put to the side earlier. We're actually going to put those right back into the device. Once you have them in the device, go ahead and grab your back door and we're going to actually line them up so we can put them into the phone. Make sure there's no little stickies or a little different adhesive that got on there that's blocking the connection. Make sure it's clean and once he's in clean, you can actually put him into place. Once you have the back door in there, go ahead and make sure you put all your little tabs, push them all back in there. And go ahead and do a little test on the buttons. Make sure they're clicking and make sure they're working. If you found this review useful, like us below. For more guides and reviews, subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.